Ryan's called us pretty casually. Ryan is watching this man. He just made his feet, so yeah, no rush. But he hasn't noticed another swimmer who's in serious trouble. Fortunately, Jake and Beardy think this is the man that Ryan is talking about. I just caught a glimpse of the guy out there. Yeah, he was drowning. When you're in the Can-Am and you know you've got to get someone, all you want to do is just gas it, put your foot down and get there. But you can't. It was high tide and the whole beach was packed. My first thought was, you know, how are we going to get to this boat in time? It's just so frustrating, you know, where you want to go, you know, how you got to get there, but so many roadblocks. You just can't get there quick enough. Should be swimming in this corner. Someone will drown. I could hear him yelling from the shoreline. Help! 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 Two surfers hear the man's screams. Help! Surfer looked over and just paddled as hard as he could. timing down here and we're just lucky that there were people around. 22-year-old Biplap is an IT student from Nepal. Maybe another 10 or 20 seconds and, and he would have been pretty close to going under. Getting so much panic that I can't think about the thing. Just I'm just calling them to help. We all were feeling so helpless because none of us could go there and save him. Now I'm feel I feel so lucky. Like I get I feel like I get new life. It's not uncommon for lifeguards to get assistance from surfers. I think I kind of saw him. I turned around as he was going under. Yeah, so. Just try to help. Beardy gives Ryan recognition for spotting the rescue. <laughs> Unaware that Ryan had his eyes on another swimmer. I tried to tried to play it down and keep everyone calm and that, but yeah, I did stuff up. Beardy's, you know, he's always understanding in that, but he will give you the, oh, that's not good enough, which, you know, makes you work harder. But, yeah, now I've got to own up for it. 